Well guys, what's up? It's Ryan and Eric here from Tower Reviews, and today we're going to be talking about the iPhone 4. So, as you all may know, on October 4th, 2011, the keynote happened uh, where we live at 1 o'clock <laughs> in the afternoon. Um, they released one thing, uh, which is kind of disappointing, uh, but it was a big thing. Uh, it was the update to the iPhone lineup, and they call it the iPhone 4S. Maybe a disappointment to some as we were expecting an iPhone 5 with a lot of new features such as a larger screen and 4G technology. There's some things that they could have done and should have done, in my opinion, that they didn't. Which they may just be saving for a few months down the road, no one really knows at this point. So as you can see, basically, uh, as the name kind of implies, it's a very similar update from the 3G to the 3GS. So uh, when I say that, I mean that the design of the device is exactly the same. It doesn't look any different uh, aesthetically. Um, but it does have a little bit more power under the hood. Um, instead of the A4 chip, which is clocked at 1 gigahertz, it has the A5 chip, which is in the iPad 2. Um, that's clocked at 1 gigahertz as well, but it is a dual core processor, um, which is supposedly going to make it a lot faster, seven times faster, even Apple claims, but we'll see. Um, it also is packing a brand new 8 megapixel camera. Um, that's probably going to be pretty good considering the 5 megapixel is one of the best on the market. Uh, it's also going to be accompanied by 1080p video recording. Um, obviously it's going to have iOS 5 um, and iCloud. They'll be released on October 12th. Um, and it's in introducing Siri, S-I-R-I. -I. It's a personal assistant. I believe Ryan knows more about that. Yeah, um, I don't really know that much about it, but I've heard uh, rumors of it's like a extremely robust voice command system. You can ask it to do, I'm guessing, simple math problems, just pretty much anything that you can do on your phone now, but you can control it with your voice. And um, basically, that's about the extent of what the iPhone 4 has, or 4S, I'm sorry, has to offer. All right, so here you can get a better view of the phone. It's It comes in black and white, obviously. Yeah, so basically, as you can see, there's not very, uh, very much detail up on the iPhone 4S. Uh, it's just recently their website has been ready uh, to be viewed by people trying to get on it so we've been refreshing the page for a while trying to get on it so now we're on it and it seems to be overloaded a little bit so it might like kind of die on us but uh, hopefully it won't um, as you can see uh, the iPhone 4 uh, has added to its lineup an 8 gigabyte model so you can get the iPhone 4 from $100 now on three networks uh, AT&T, Verizon, and the new one is Sprint, uh, and obviously that's coming soon as you can see there. Um, the iPhone 3G uh, S will be remaining on AT&T, but it will be zero dollars. So the 8GB model of the 3GS, again, will be zero dollars with contract on AT&T. Um, basically, the only thing I don't understand about the pricing is the iPhone 4S has a 16 gigabyte model for 199, a 32 gigabyte for 299, which is the same as the iPhone 4 was. Um, but it also has a 64 gig, which is new for $400 um, on contract. The only thing I do not understand about it is that the iPhone 4 16 gigabyte and the iPhone 4S 16 gigabyte seem to be the same price, which doesn't make a lot of sense to me, considering why would you pick a worse phone? Uh, for the same price. Maybe it's just, just an error with their site. It just doesn't phases. sound correct. Um, so that's basically it for the iPhone 4S. Uh, not really a lot of updates. Uh, I believe it also is going to have um, mirroring. Uh, we'll look into that more for you. That's like wireless or wired view of the iPod's display on a larger display. So basically like an HDMI out or something like that. Um, I'm, I'm sure you'll have to get some type of converter. Uh, and yeah, also, yeah. there was a small update to the iPod Touch. Why don't you go on the? Oh website. yeah. Um, well, everybody. Thought Actually, there was a few updates for the iPods. Just price drops and. Well, they really, <laughs> people really thought that the iPod Touch was going to be uh, updated a lot. Um, now it's starting at one ninety nine. So you uh -huh. can get an eight gigabyte iPod Touch for two hundred dollars, which is actually a great deal. Um, and also, as you can see right here, to the left and right of the black one. Uh, it is also going to be available in white, and again, that's just going to be on the front faceplate, so it'll still have the whatever the heck's on the back of it that really scratches up bad. Um, you can also see that the iPod Nano has dropped in price a little bit. See, here's the site dying on us. But 
the iPod Nano has dropped to 129 for the 8 gigabyte and 179, I believe, for the 16 gigabyte. I think it was just a twenty dollar. It was a twenty dollar decrease, decrease for both model sizes. Um, so that should be good. Uh, I believe they're doing that because not a lot of people want the iPod Nano. It's still uh, overpriced in my opinion. It's a very small screen and not much functionality. I don't. Yeah. I don't know. So. That's basically all that happened um, in the keynote this year, uh, or this time. It's really not anything that exciting. Uh, it's it's a good update for the iPhone, I guess, but people who've been waiting for the iPhone 5 uh, with an older phone or an older iPhone and just wanted to wait to upgrade are going to be pretty upset, I believe. Because but I believe the iPhone 4 users will be pretty but, happy but me as an iPhone 4 user are is extremely happy because I bought my iPhone 4 a few months ago and I really don't have much to desire to upgrade to so I'm just gonna stick with the iPhone 4 for now um, so that's the keynote guys I uh, hope you enjoyed and if we have more information we'll be suited we'll be back to get